The institution of monarchy in Bhutan was established in 1907 when after a long period of internal strife, the people unanimously elected Kong so Ochu as the first king of Bhutan. From the 1950s, the precursors of present-day democratic institutions came into being, including the National Assembly in 1953, the Royal Advisory Council in 1965, the Dzongkha Gyaogye Tsogdos in 1981, and Gyeo Gyaogye Tsogchungs in 1991, and the elected cabinet with all executive powers in 1998. The election of members to these bodies were by secret ballot and progressed from household ballots in 1953 to individual ballots for those aged 21 years and more in 2002 and then to all citizens aged 18 and more from 2008 onwards. Therefore, the first parliamentary elections in 2008 was the culmination of the democratization process started by our visionary monarchs. The Fodruk Gyalpo Jigme Singye Wangchuk commanded the drafting of the constitution in 2001, alluding to the democratization process, which had been evident even from the coronation speech when His Majesty commanded that. <laughs> The Fortru Gyalpo, appointed by a royal degree, the Auditor General Tashu Kunzang Wangdi as the first Chief Election Commissioner of Bhutan on 31st December 2005. Thereafter, the Office of the Election Commission of Bhutan was inaugurated on 16th January 2006 and the two election commissioners, Chogil Thago Rigson and Diki Pema, appointed in February of the same year. The Election Commission of Bhutan was charged with the responsibility for the superintendence, direction and control of elections to parliament and local governments with the royal decree commanding Quote, The draft constitution of the Kingdom of Bhutan which was framed to ensure the present and future interest of the country has been distributed nationwide and consultation with our people in the 20 Zonkaks on the constitution are already taking place. Once the constitution is adopted and the introduction of parliamentary democracy takes place, it is of paramount importance to ensure that elections are conducted properly. As it is necessary to make full preparation to carry out this important task before parliamentary democracy is established, Auditor General Kunzang Wangdi is hereby transferred and appointed as the Chief Election Commissioner until the new parliament is formed after the adoption of the constitution. The Office of the Election Commission is a very important constitutional post and it is imperative to build a strong foundation for implementing the functions of this post while we are in the process of establishing democratic practices and norms in our country. The Chief Election Commissioner must carry out his responsibilities with the highest level of loyalty and dedication to the government and the people without any discrimination between regions, Zonkaks and Geoks, and establish a strong electoral system for the present and future interest of the country. In keeping with the provisions of the constitution for a minimum of two and a maximum of seven members in the National Assembly for each Zonkak, on the basis of population, the Chief Election Commissioner must finalize the constituencies for the election of the National Assembly members. Towards this end, the Office of the Election Commission must review and finalize the boundaries of the Zonkaks and Georgs together with the concerned ministries and departments. The Office of the Election Commission must also finalize the electoral rules and election schedule as well as full preparation for the supervision, direction, control and conduct of elections to parliament and local government. The Election Commission must conduct training and familiarization for the people in the electoral process during the next two years in 2006 and 2007 so that the first general elections in the country can be carried out successfully in the year 2008. Unquote. 
The Delimitation Commission, comprising of the Chief and two Election Commissioners, the Secretaries of the Ministries responsible for Civil Registry and Urban Settlement, and the Surveyor General, were appointed on 1st April 2006 to supervise and approve the delimitation exercise, which included technical work as well as public consultations in the 20 Tsongkhags. The Commission issued the final delimitation order for the National Assembly constituencies of the Kingdom of Bhutan on 16th March 2007 and the National Parliamentary mock elections were conducted based on this in April and May of 2007. The mock parliamentary elections were held nationwide with all the electoral and polling arrangements carried out in every constituency and polling station as if for the real elections except for the dummy political parties and candidates, wherein the system and procedures as outlined in these electoral documents were test run and at the same time providing valuable experience to officials and electorate alike. The election bill, national referendum bill, Public Election Fund Bill and 45 related documents were drafted based on the draft constitution to guide the conduct of the first ever parliamentary elections. His Majesty the King called, by royal decree, the historic first ever parliamentary elections on 30 June 2007 and commanded that the elections be held as per the provisions of the draft constitution and election bills. Subsequently, the National Council election schedule was notified on 19th October 2007 with the poll day set for 31st December 2007. However, in five Tsongkhaks, there were none or only a single candidate filing nomination for the elections and the elections were postponed in these five Tsongkhaks and conducted on 29th January 2008 so that representatives of all 20 Tsongkhaks in the National Council would be ensured. On 1st September 2007, the People's Democratic Party became the first political party in the country to be registered with the ECB. The Drukpinson Tsokpa, with registration on 2nd October 2007, became the second political party in the kingdom. In the first National Assembly elections in 2008, the primary round was foregone as there were only two parties. The historic general election poll day was on the 24th of March 2008 when almost 80% of voters turned out to vote in DPT as the ruling party and PDP as the opposition. The first parliament thus elected signed the constitution of the Kingdom of Bhutan on 18th July 2008 and enacted the three electoral laws, the Election Act, the Public Election Fund Act and the National Referendum Act on 12th of August 2008. The enactment of the three electoral acts of the Kingdom of Bhutan by the first parliament marked yet another milestone in the journey of the Election Commission of Bhutan, the electoral management body of the Kingdom of Bhutan. The Election Commission of Bhutan subsequently undertook an extensive learning from experience program covering all stakeholders to get feedback which were duly incorporated in the electoral documents. It has now become a standard practice to do so after every national and local government election, ensuring institutionalization and fostering of a learning culture towards ensuring efficient, effective and credible elections for all times to come. The electoral documents, which provide the legal framework for the preparation as well as conduct of elections, were revised based on the feedback from Learning from Experience program and these were released by Her Royal Highness Princess Sonam Dichen Wangchuk on the 25th of August 2009. Having been appointed to run the first parliamentary elections which were conducted on the basis of the draft constitution and the electoral bills, the very same election commission was formally appointed under the hand and seal of His Majesty the King and as per the provisions of the constitution on 22nd July 2010 for a term of five years. Based on an LEP recommendation, a common forum was introduced besides public debate for an effective election campaign. The Election Commission, in its effort to ensure a strong, dynamic and professional institution, has kept track of strides and developments made in technology. Accordingly, IT and social media have been used wherever possible to ensure efficient and reliable data, process and information sharing in all election-related works. A biometric registration verification process has been introduced and implemented. 
The first ever local government elections was inevitably conducted in phases between October 2010 and November 2012, starting with the elections to the four Tsongkhak Tomdes, followed by the elections to the Tsongkhak Tsogdus and Gewok Tsogdus, and thereafter to fill the remaining vacant posts. Towards strengthening this vital institution of democracy, as well as deepening understanding and awareness, the Election Commission has been conducting a series of capacity development training for its staff, as well as other public servants and stakeholders. 58 democracy clubs have been instituted in the last one year in schools and other educational institutions to provide opportunities to students to learn and engage in democratic practices through the support of the ECB. The polls of the National Council elections were conducted on 23rd April 2013 with a total of 67 candidates compared to 52 in 2007 contesting for the 20 NC seats, one each for the 20 Tsongkhaks of the country. Three more political parties, namely the Putan Kinyam Party, Druk Chirwang Tsokpa and Druk Nyamrup Tsokpa registered with ECB in early 2013. In the second National Assembly election 2013, we had, for the first time, the primary round polls on 31st May 2013 when four political parties contested and DPT and PDP went on to contest in the general election. The voter turnout of 66.13% voted in the PDP as the ruling party and the DPT as the opposition. The latest initiatives that the ECB is looking at is one, the volunteer voice, where volunteers are registered, trained and deployed for wider coverage and effective delivery of voter information, communication and education. The other is the network of Putinese for electoral democracy, which provides opportunities to interested individuals to share their views on electoral democracy and establish mechanisms which support academic and research activities related to democracy as well as elections. These are neutral forums for public discourse and engagement necessary for a vibrant democracy. The Election Commission, in looking to the future, is inspired by His Majesty the King of Bhutan, who said to university graduates during the convocation of the Royal University of Bhutan in Thimpo on the 15th of July 2011. Quote, I think the beginnings of democracy in Bhutan have been very successful. However, it will take constant work and commitment to make it a lasting success. It is a long process during which we must deeply contemplate each step so that we do what is right. Mistakes we make today will be irreversible. We cannot falter on our path to a vibrant democracy with an equal and just society. Unquote. The bechop the machop, tup matup, lejim the sop, randin the the Tasekyon Noigi, Rod Melomule.